Right, this is a set of nails I did ooh, over a month ago, more than a month ago. These are after Christmas. Um, uh, so I'm going to forget everything I've done. But I'm going to show you my non-dominant hand because that's what everyone asks for. So I've prepped the nails, removed my previous set down to a thin clear base, applied my form, blah blah blah. And then I'm coming in with a bead of clear acrylic. I took out a bit of liquid from the back and then I'm placing it on my first finger I'm going to do. As you can see, I pick up with my dominant hand because I get a better pick up that way. And then I transfer the brush into my non-dominant hand. And I'm just creating that thin base that I'm then going to work on. So I'm going to show you a few nails on this hand and then a few nails on the other hand. And all in all, you'll get an idea of how I've done each different um, nail in this set. Just starting on thin clear base to the body of the nail and then picking up some of my cover pink there will be a list in the description of all the products I've used I genuinely cannot remember I think I just used a more here from CJP but it may have been the more with the willow pixie dust from the glitterarium it may have been, no I think it's just a more and then I'm coming in with, I think, white diamonds or snow white. See, this is how bad I am. And then dabbing that also into a glam and glitz colour. Placing that bead on the nail and then I'm just using the tip of my brush to just marble, blend and swirl it around. I'm not worried about keeping it particularly smooth or anything, I just want to get that nice marble smoky effect with the two different colours so again in the white in the green place on the nail and then swirl around yep that white is white diamonds from CJP and the green I want to say the green is Fifth Avenue possibly <laughs> again sorry guys I'm on medical leave and I'm in Lincoln and my salon's in Suffolk so normally I'd just go next door and have a look in the drawers, but I don't have that luxury at the moment, so I will make sure I put it in the description below once I upload the video. So I'm happy with that. I'm then going to just use my wet brush just to pick up some of these crystal chameleon flakes, and these are in Unikite. And I'm just randomly tapping, kind of doing like my usual, how I would like your crystal trail, the, the uh, glitter trail, which you can get as well, and then I'm going into. Yeah, it's totally gone blank. Which ones these? <laughs> these are. Ah, oh, these are the chameleon flakes, and I'm just placing those in there. I want. Um, are they Krista or Drusilla? I think they're Krista. Again, I will put that full description <laughs> below because I'm being rather useless. I'm getting a decent size of clear acrylic to cap that entire nail with. So hopefully I've got a better setup now. So saying that though, while I've been sat here not being able to work, I've been doing lots of research on setups and stuff like that. So my setups are all going to be changing and my lighting will all be changing when I get back soon too. But for once I'm starting to learn my camera angles and where I need the camera and the lighting and stuff so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I'm capping the nail as I would any nail. Um, when I work on myself, the main things I really focus on, especially with my non-dominant hand, is the cuticle area. I don't want to flood the cuticle area. Um, I want to make sure my application there is as good as possible. When it comes down the length of the nail, if it gets, I mean, you won't get a perfect finish with your non-dominant. Um, so I just, I try to do the best I can and I'm very conscious of the time so obviously as soon as you start working with the acrylic it's starting to set and you want to get your pinch and everything. So just to be aware that I don't spend as much time or worry so much if it isn't perfectly smooth like if I was working with my dominant hand because the main thing is I'm worried about is getting the application on and getting the pinch um, at the right time. Just taking time to look at it from all angles. Yeah, and as you can see, there's like a little, a little 
bump and ridge at the top there but I wasn't too worried about that because I know when I file that that will that sort itself out I'll just apply my pinching tool you want to make sure obviously the length of that nail is being pinched and then I'm happy with that let it all set and take form off now when I work on my non-dominant hand I do tend to do one nail at a time it's a lot easier for me um, otherwise when I'm working on myself while I'm then trying to apply to another hand I find I'm then hitting it with the form and stuff like that and you're denting acrylic as it's setting with another form and yeah I'm quite cack handed on myself so I take my time with my non-dominant hand I've applied a clear base to this now and I'm coming in with that green and then I'm going to use some of this glitter art from the Valentine's collection, which is called Envy. Um, I'll also say when I do my own nails, I always start, as you can see, with my non-dominant hand. The reason for this is because when you first start doing your nails, you're like, yes, I'm going to do an amazing set. Ta -ha -ha, you've got loads of focus and energy and stuff. And halfway through, you'll start getting a bit tired and a bit bored of doing it, <laughs> if you're anything like me. So if you start on your non-dominant hand, you're going to have all of that energy and that focus to get the hardest thing done right. And then when you start working on your with your dominant hand, it becomes really easy because you've done the hardest bit. So I always think it's easier to do the hardest bit first and then um, do the easy. So I always complete my full non-dominant hand, then my dominant hand or work with should I say and then I file them all but when I file them I'll do one little finger do the other little finger do the ring finger do the other ring finger so you're not filing all one hand at once you alternate so less chance of like your hands actually cramping up trying to hold them all in position and things like that so I'm blending down a bit of cover pink on this now and then going in getting a dab of clear and then picking up some of that lovely glitter envy all really those nice green hearts and like mirror shards and stuff it's really super sparkly and then pretty much the same as I did before once I'm happy with all the placement I will then be capping in crystal cross and pinching mm. talking as a tech doing their own nails I always make sure that I do my nails every two to three weeks I always make sure I have time put aside in my diary to get them done um, even if that is on a Saturday night with a bottle of wine in hand. Um, try to always um, make sure that you are um, taking time to do your own nails, especially as a nail tech, because they're your best business card. When you're out shopping or out with friends or things like that, people go, oh, where'd you get your nails done? And you're like, oh, I did them, have a business card. And I think if you can work your hardest to always keep them looking good, um, you know, kind of presentable, it will help you get business and always make sure you have plenty of time to do it I know like lots of my friends I know Emma's terrible for this one of the fairies she will be doing nails in between clients so she'll get like three nails done and stuff like that and that's I mean if that's works for you that works for you but I I can't stand doing that it drives me nuts because I'll do two nails and then I'll just give up so I prefer myself personally to set aside I'll normally set aside three or four hours um, to do my nails, take off and put back on and or like a Saturday morning which may sound a lot but if you think if a customer came in for this kind of length set of nails you'd be needing to block out at least three hours anyway so it's not, not that much difference and it's nice to pay a little attention to myself now and then so I'm just capping this in crystal glass as you can see I'm spending a fair amount of time around the cuticle area, around the side wall, stuff like that, because I want, I don't want any of the acrylic like bleeding in, touching the skin or anything like that, because then you do have real issues with like lifting and things like that. And you can take a little bit longer when you're working on the body of the nail because that's not going to be pinched, so you don't need to worry about the setting time as much. But then when I do the length of the nail, I try and do that relatively quickly. Don't rush yourself, but just be aware of the time and the setting time of your product kind of thing. And 
And there you go, so that's my non-dominant two fingers. Um, in the next video, all the links will be in the description below, I will do some application on my dominant hand. So thanks for tuning in guys, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!